Greetings, everyone. How are you guys feeling? All right. So, first things first, I would like to reintroduce Libra's Cafe. When I first started the Hourglass channel, Libra Cafe was one of the most frequent readings. I am a Libra, given, reader, <laughs> given readings for Libras. <clears throat> I don't know why all of a sudden my throat is all scratchy, but whatever. We're going to push through. So, yeah, reintroducing Libra's Cafe readings for Libra by a Libra. I do have Aries rising, so you will get, you know, kicks <laughs> or even gut punches at times because of my Aries energy. But is all out of love so let's jump into it so this is the cards that popped out last night around maybe 11 i'm trying not to go to sleep so late anymore i had a habit of you know sweet snacking movies and just chowing late at night but i'm gonna kind of like switch that up so some of you libras may be into switching up your routine Right about now, you know, you need all the energy that you can um, manifest or create within yourself. So let's talk about the, com the combination. So Libra in Aquarius season, if you're Aquarius, that's watching on. Happy birthday. Anybody or any zodiac sign, sun sign is welcome in Libra's cafe. But just know everything is about Libra. Hey, all right. So let's talk about it. Coffee lovers, tea lovers. Get your little drinky poo or your little beverage. <laughs> All right, so the world popped out. And I was like, hmm, it's been a while since I've seen the world card. I love it. And this is telling me that there's a cycle or a period that has completed for us Libras. This could have been a 90-day cycle or 90-day probation. This could be six months. Something is completed. And I feel like most of you have been so triumphant you have been very brave with these completions and these endings it's like you know you knowingly know that it is um part of the process you have embraced it you have accepted that all things are temporary all things has its limit or its expiration where it's going into another form or another phase so congratulations libra and I feel a sense of wholeness. Like, <clears throat> it's not even about relationships or evolution or your spiritual journey. Apart from those aspects or themes in your life, you just feel a sense of wholeness or that's what you're going to be moving into in this new... I'm hearing it's a new setup or it's the next level for you. Now... Let's talk about shmoneys. So it's tax time. You guys could be very much um, getting a very lovely refund. Um, I'm also getting that there was some adversities and challenges that you kind of like pushed through. You learned a lot. You became more organized. You became more aware of your desires. And because of all of that, you are going to be rewarded. I feel like things are fine tuning for you. You it's very evident for you and it's because you could or you have that eye for patterns, for contrast. So, you know, where normally someone would miss something, Libra has the ability to kind of suss it out, to kind of see the inner workings, the gears moving, the gears ticking. So, it's always great to have a Libra on the team as well. We have the ability to, to see two sides of the coin, to weigh the pros and the cons. So Libra, yeah, I'm like happy for you right now. I am going to share bits and pieces of my experiences going into Aquarius season, but I'm not going to get too in-depth in it because it's a general. And I don't want to push away uh, any Libras that's just not on that, that tip yet. So... Be a friend to your own body. I'm seeing like how the body hair is like in a position that looks a little bit awkward and it looks a little bit like exhausting. But Libra, dear Libra, you have the stamina, you have the courage, and you do have mental strength. So I'm not going to 
skip over this a financial security card but i am going to be bouncing back and forth between the combinations of cards so i'm getting that libra going into this new beginning or creating this new beginning you have a new set of rules for yourself i don't necessarily feel like you're going to impose them on others it's almost like oh okay you're doing that great this is what i'm going to be doing over here and i feel like your third eye your inner eye is sensing or is picking up a lot of um in like stuff that's going to be trying to impose or penetrate your boundaries or new set of rules that you have in place some of you again changing up your routine or you're increasing your health your strength mental health your strength and your vitality there's a lot of um opportunities here with the world but I'm sensing that you're not trying to get emotional about these opportunities, even though you should jump for joy in some cases, right? Hey, I feel like you're going to have in this Aquarius season, you're going to have to go the extra mile. And when I say that, I mean, like, you're going to have to push past certain demands or expectations of you. In this Aquarius season, which is a fellow air sign, very intellectual, meaningful, stimulating, possibly conversation, movies, studies, or just exploring. It's going to be very stimulating. Some of you already jumped into new adventures. You're already learning new things about different areas or different techniques, different cultures, even foods. I'm getting like this worldly opportunity, a chance for you to make some shmoneys or it's like, you know what they say, money can't buy happiness. Well, only when you reach a certain maturity level, you figure that out. Because, you know, when you're younger, when you're just like full of life and, you know, uh, materialistic things make you jump for joy or make you feel proud. I feel like some of you are at this maturity level where you're starting to see that money really doesn't bring happiness is what you could afford to buy or the things that you could implement in your natural surroundings. Let me give you an example. Just a simple example. Just a simple example. It's like buying new sheets for the bed. Thank you. Looks delicious. It's like buying new quilts and sheets for the bed. I got my coffee order, you guys. So it's officially Libra's Cafe. Ew. Yeah, buy new sheets for the bed, buy new curtains, change in the color scheme. It just opens up the air. It opens up the mood in the room. So I feel like you guys are going to be building off of being your total selves, your wholesome selves with the world. Aquarius season is an excellent opportunity. It's an excellent season to fully express yourself in very unconventional, non-conformant ways. This is totally you. This is pure you, dear Libra. So security with strength, that's talking about staying grounded in security, but not necessarily in the familiar. It's almost like you could be single-minded and how you make your money, or you just have one stream of income at this time, but it's so many ways that you could develop and form how you what you do with this money pause unpause so i was getting this theme of survival of the fittest but that's not what i'm picking up now that i'm looking at the cards in a different angle what i'm picking up is is that you're so grounded and secure in your can do it attitude that when you mix it with your strengths and your passions and that spirited fire within you libra it's building it's building up from the you have the power, you have the stamina to do it. We see that, hey, <laughs> we see that, hey, you have the stamina to kind of create this new world that you're working towards. Now, there could be a situation where you have to tap into your fearlessness. If you have been working at a job for more than two years, maybe it's time for you to ask for a promotion. And if it's not there, if it's not available, you may need to kind of venture out past that. Look at different jobs. I'm not saying to quit the whole enchilada. I'm saying 
just go out there and see what else is available to you if you're not receiving it at this current position. So fearlessness alert is in the strength card as well. Mm -hmm. Don't try to live outside your means. Don't try to build a world that you cannot afford there, Libra. There's also this exhaustion. I don't know if it's the people around you that have demands or really like stiff expectations of you, but I'm feeling like <clears throat> there's going to be an opportunity to have a meaningful conversation with these people. And I'm getting reactive individuals. It's almost like you're giving them an ultimatum. This is your heart's truth. Dear Libra, we are represented with the justice card in the tarot that talks about truth. It talks about morality. It talks about fairness in public relations, business partnerships, relationships at home, romantic relationships. So it's time to step into that stamina, that integrity, and that confidence, Libra, to have these meaningful conversations. So back to what I was saying with the ultimatum. It's almost like you're going to give these reactive individuals ultimatums, but you're going to give it to them or you're going to present it or you're going to pitch it in a way where you're not backing them in a corner or asking them to change or fix their behavior towards you. You're letting them know, hey, this is where I'm at in life. This is what I'm willing to put up with. This is what I'm willing to invest with. If you're on the boat, you're on the boat. If not, you're not. And that's okay. So you have like this very open, but a matter of fact type of attitude going in further in Aquarius season. Mm -hmm. Some of you, <clears throat> oh my gosh, my throat, bro. Anyway, we're going to push through it because... This is an important message when it comes to reintroducing Libra's Cafe. This also represents the root chakra. So the root chakra is one of the most difficult chakras to clear and balance. And it's because it's rooted in a lot of conditioning, a lot of indoctrines, and a lot of programming. I'm also getting that this Aquarius season is going to give you that added, I'm hearing that bonus energy to kind of come out of the box hey but again it's going to be all you pure you it's going to lead to achievements it's going to lead to financial security it's going to lead to satisfaction this this ultimate fulfillment even if it's just for a moment even if it's just for a week it's there i'm also getting vigorous actions with these two cards with the world and the strength so <clears throat> i feel like you do have this unique strength that's going for you in Aquarius season, but I feel like you might be playing games or you're going to be in some sort of game playing with um, very impulsive, reactive people that could be proven to be harmful for you. Maybe their way of living life is a little bit too harsh and arrogant and um, impulsive for you. And again, um, some of you, this could be immediate family. This could be somebody that you're sexually enticed by, somebody that you're lusting over or vice versa. Libra, I know we love to be in love or we love the idea of love, but please don't be fooled or confused between love and lust. Some of you may have a very in daring individual that has this strong lust or attraction for you. This person could have a very imposing character or presence. Libra, you're going to have to stand your ground and you could do this, but you may want to give in to the thrill of the lust. You get what I'm saying? So there could be some things that's happening in politics or in government that you don't really agree with Libra. And again, that does not have to do anything with your world that you're creating, but it's also, it's always good to know what's happening on the world views. So focus, find your strength, Libra, in taking actions. Don't forget to process your heart truth um, with your deep sense of commitment. A lot of you have this deep sense of commitment and you don't invest in just anything because you, you know that saying, I love hard. What is it? I love hard. So that's why I try to get to know people before I fall for them because it's like, 
it's like no turning back i feel like that's the the energy of the world it's no turning back so be careful who you fall for be careful who you who you put your head on the block for practice your breathing techniques to promote mind and body control as well yoga stretching aerobics flexibility this is all in the base chakra as well with the spine I feel Libra, you're going to be exhibiting a different type of strength in this Aquarius season and people that are moody, that are gloomy, that always see um, the downside of things, pessimistic people, critical Debbie Downers, all of that PC Patty, whatever. I feel like you're going to like blow these people out of your way. Like they're going to literally be stepping out of your way. Yeah, I'm getting like at athletic adventurous hair as well. So again, this could be literally pain to jet ski or pain to go scuba diving. Something that's very athletic hair. I feel like you will be finding your strength and the people in your life may be kind of blown away. I don't know why I'm keep, I keep focusing on a face. I can't see the eyes or anything, but I keep seeing hard headed. It's like a blank face, but across this person's forehead, it says hard headed taker, hard headed takers. Hmm. Very interesting. So again, Libra, it's all about finding harmony. Some of you may be attracted to people that are full of chaos. All right, you may be tempted. I don't I don't want to say that you're going to make these people your project, but you may be tempted to kind of iron out the folds or the lines in this person's life. Dear Libra, I'm hearing you need to reframe from taking sides, especially if there's family feuding. You need to kind of step out of that that um cuz I'm getting that you're like the mediator, you're the person that's looking in and you may have some good points or some good things to say. There may be a person that try to pull you in the middle to choose sides. Dear Libra, try to refrain from doing that. Try to refrain from doing that. I feel like you're not there to prove who's right and who's wrong. It's like you're there to observe the calmness or bring some sort of calmness, but without putting yourself in the middle. Like a, I'm hearing, don't be, um, what is that? A casualty of war, of somebody else's war. And this could be the person that um, you're sexually connected to or you have like this lustful attraction to. Do not be a casualty of war in their personal wars as well because I feel like you have somebody that tries to provide or they want to provide but they may not be financially stable meaning they don't have a steady job they may bounce around from place to place to make money this could even be a seasonal um employee or worker you're gonna have to be strong we have aries energy we have fixed energy with scorpio leo taurus and aquarius has shown up with the world <laughs> i'm also again there's a promise of a sweet deal look at the terms de libra don't overlook anything. We have a fortune cookie I received the other night, and it goes something to you. I don't know if you guys could see it. You will win success in whatever you adopt, dear Libra. And you know it. We have lucky numbers 26, 36, 46, 17, 48, and 6. So, dear Libra, I hope that you found some sort of doubly confirmation or echoes of truth in this libra cafe again i'm reintroduced in libra's cafe here on the hourglass it was once part it was once a big theme here on the hourglass but i kind of cut it out because let's face it libras sometimes we need to seek our own counsel rather than pulling on cards or listening to other people coaching and talking about their experience and what you should do and what you shouldn't do sometimes we need to rely on our heart's truth what makes sense to us in our growth does that make sense libra so natural charm some of you have a knack for debating or kind of like opening people up to um to their own truth by discussion i had a very 
kind of awkward discussion with a law enforcement officer and not to put anybody under the, the bus or push anybody under the bus. He kind of expressed that he's losing the passion for his job. And just in asking him a few questions, not praying, but asking him a few um, thought-provoking question kind of open him up to more of his truth. So dear Libra, you may be that person that someone talks to and suddenly the bigger picture just emerges out of the fog for them. Let's see what else I want to touch on. Hey, yeah. So I'm getting, do not try to fit into roles that was not designed for you. Do not try to, uh, pick up somebody else's responsibility or expectations of them. I'm also hearing where complaining starts, responsibility stops. So I don't know, somebody may be having a very intellectual way of complaining, but there's no, um, there's no forward thinking of solutions and you may be tempted to kind of step in and again, iron the kinks or the fool out of somebody's sheets. I don't think that that's your responsibility there, Libra. It's like somebody's looking for you to help them out of the fog. This could be a financial fog. And you may have to, again, stand in your truth. It's going to take strength. You're going to have to put on a brave face. And I feel like this person knows that you're doing it out of love. But it's the point that you have said no may kind of damper their mood. It's okay to say no. It's okay to offer a listening A or a, a non-judgmental A, but this person or these group of people, they still need to do what they got to do. They still have to um, own or take responsibility for what they need to do for themselves. And I feel like uh, one or two may come back around and tell you, you know, looking back now, I kind of regret that I pushed you that way or looking back now, I was kind of wrong that I, you have a few people that's that is that intellectually matured. So beware of sweet deals or promises of sweet deals from people that once had a very powerful position in your life. Uh, this could be people that feels kind of moody or angry that you took their power position away from them. Or you took your helpful, your thoughtful. I'm also have I'm also getting reasonable. Maybe you're kind of staying away from unreasonable folks. Someone may be deliberately fabricating something here about money. I don't think it's your job to investigate, but it is your job to wait. It's like the more time you give this person, it's like if you don't react fast, I don't know. It feels like somebody may come in with a sob story about money and you may be tempted to act fast. But the more that you sit and kind of look over things, the more you're going to see this person's greed or arrogancy. Or you're going to see that they're using charisma or charm to kind of charm you into doing something that's not beneficial for you financially. Or this could be you to someone. Maybe someone is waking up to the fact that you could be using them in some way. You're not really looking at the details. You're just trying to charm them into helping you financially. So get ready for that conversation. Get ready to be put in your place, Libra, if this is you. And I'm also seeing with the one, this could be a 10. So we have 10-1. Right? No, I'm sorry. The world card is a three. I'm sorry. I don't know why I got 110, but we have 31 or 13. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm getting that some of you may be trying to stay away from pointless chit chat or you're avoiding a conversation that you think it's pointless, dear Libra, try to identify when you're using defensiveness to give yourself a break from what needs to be addressed. Sometimes Libras, um, depending on other, um, other uh, placements in your chart, you tend to avoid what needs to be addressed. With my Aries rising, I can't afford to do that because I already know that things could spin out of control or things could snowball into something that is going to be even gummier or messier than what I intend to deal with. So I like to nip things in the butt right away. Some people, <laughs> when I tell people I'm a Libra, they don't believe me. They think I'm either an, uh, um, an Aries or a Capricorn. So 
I don't have time for that. So it's not about being in survival mode anymore, Libra. It's about having this, uh, I would say like, um, again, like this, I can do it attitude or a soldier type of attitude where I'm using my training. I'm using what I've learned. I'm learning new things as I go. I'm learning my strength. I'm learning my capabilities. This is this behavior going into Aquarius season problem solving. Some of you, again, you may be appointed the judge in cases, in families, and this could literally be like calling you out to kind of verify or um, be, pick sides. I don't know, Libra, you got to think about that. There's also new interests here that's coming up. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting that you may have a few rule breakers around you, being that you may be someone that creates rules for yourself. You may have a few people around you that's trying to push the envelope, Libra. And, you know, it could be fun. It could be exciting. But are these people beneficial to this radical expansiveness that you're in? I feel like you may have... Um, potential suitor or somebody that admires you that's trying to block you from venturing out of the box that they put you in or you have outgrown this person's um thoughts or what they originally thought you were you outgrew something and i feel like this person is very moody and it shows in their money so they may be trying to hold money over you or they're always asking you or expecting you to pay things without even talking about it. So you may have someone that may kind of like snap at you. Well, why didn't you pay that? You were supposed to pay that. And you're like, excuse me, I didn't know I had to pay that. We didn't talk about that. So someone may be pushing unexpected expectations on you. And I feel like then is when you're going to see the cracks or the facade in this person's financial fog. Yeah, Libra. So in this Aquarius season, I'm not feeling too much of love, but you may find a few individuals that match your need to play or your need to have um, more adventures in your life. You may meet a few people when you venture out the norm, whatever box or whatever you have outgrown, you may meet someone that you're going to change their world. I feel like they change your world or they give you the freedom to be totally you, but I feel like you're going to be more changing this individual's world and you're going to be doing it from being purely you. So yeah, I feel like you don't run from you don't run from tension, but you just know when it's pointless and when it's something that you feel like could improve. I also feel like there's someone that wants to be with you. This person may have had wrong information about you or they kind of used you for some sort of entertainment. I feel like this person, I, I don't know why I keep getting deliberately fabricating or fiction. When they want to talk to you, when they're going to talk to you. Coming out of this Capricorn season, Libra, coming that you're the goat that is now coming down the mountain. So in Capricorn season, the, the gold, because golds represent Capricorn and Tarum, or in Zodiac, the gold is going up the hill in Capricorn season. Venturing into Aquarius season, the gold is now coming down the mountain or the hill with new insight, with forward thinking, with um, acceptance for those that give rather than take. So you're going to have like this fresh energy or this fresh attitude, this fresh behavior. And the takers, they're going to feel like bent out of shape, but a few of them may start to adapt to your energy. It's like it's infectious. It's captivating. So yeah, Libra, your main focus in Aquarius season is to be more of you, is to choose situation and partners that gave that gives you the freedom um, to think outside the box, to play outside the box while all being entirely you by loving every part of you as you do this. <laughs> I'm hearing the devil is in the details. 
So they there are um, very delicious results, hey Libra, but you have to learn to balance or divide your duties with your plans. I'm also getting, I want to plan together. So you may have someone that wants to plan together or meet in the middle, but money, I feel like they want you to go half and half or 50-50. Make sure the deal is fair. I know the world is not fair, Libra, but that does not mean that your immediate environment cannot be fair and harmonious for you. Create a sanctuary in your home. So when you are done, being that mediator, standing in that sh that strong personality, that stamina, you have a place to relax. You have a place to kind of wind down, give your mind a rest. So again, you don't have to pay for peace or for luxurious, harmonious, sexy, romantic environments. You could actually create that Libra and you know you can. Maybe you're already doing it. And there are people that secretly watches on. They want that world. They want the feeling, but I don't think they want to be you. Maybe they wish they had your brain or your expertise. So beware of wrong information. If somebody feeds you wrong information of your, you're following someone that misleads you or just gives you a lot of false news, Libra, just cast it away or classify it as entertainment and move on. It's junk news. It's junk information. You don't have to keep it. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the Libra Cafe. Again, it's Libra readings given by a Libra with Aries rising. So there's going to be a few kicks or gut punches every now and then with the things I say. But yeah, welcome, welcome back. I think I'm going to start presenting the Libra Cafe like every season. So it may be twice a season or um, once a week in that season. It just depends on how pulled I am to deliver a message. I'm just not going to jump on here just to keep checking and keep checking and keep checking the, the energies. That's just, that's just not the reader I am. It's like I really have to be pulled like, this is important. My guys be like, this is important. Turn your camera on. Let's get rolling. Action. <laughs> so, yeah, this is your season to play, to be in your free form, to mingle with people that allow you the space and the freedom to be you, to adapt with you, to grow with you, rather than takers or people that's always trying to down you or pull you down. You don't have time for that and you know it it disrupts the inner harmony within yourself because it always feels like you have to prove or you have to over explain to these people and i feel like it's pointless it's getting pointless now i'm all, i'm keep hearing pay attention to the terms and the details of a sweet deal you're going to have to learn to stand up. You may need to throw somebody under the bus when they're fabricating some kind of story. I feel like you guys may be sitting at a table or everybody's talking and then all of a sudden they're going to just start with this fabricated stories or fabricated events. And you may need to stand up and say, hey, that's bullshit. Like, hey, you never did that before. You need to cut it out. I don't know, Libra. <laughs> It's like that Judge Judy type of energy when there's lies being told. It's like, uh-uh, uh-uh, cut that out. You know, let's, let's nip that in the butt before that snowballs into something that, you know, is like put your money where your mouth is or don't. I don't know what that saying is. I'm not too good with sayings, but it's like don't bite off more than you could chew or don't something more than you could cash. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. Yeah, but do not turn to defensiveness, Libra. Some of us have the tendency of getting defensive when we don't want to address uh, something that causes shame. I'm feeling like it causes shame and frustration or it's like it's meant to for you to give an explanation of why you did what you did. And some of you may be feeling like I don't owe anybody an explanation, but it could be Libra that it's a, it's an explanation that's needed so someone could back off of you because it could have someone that's feeling like you're two faced hey like you're night and day or when there's a certain situation or people around it's like night and day so i feel like someone may put you in a spotlight and you might try to get defensive or you may try to make them feel like 
that's pointless and that's childish but this is your opportunity to clear the air this is your opportunity to stand in your strength to show how grounded you are about who you are and this is going to unlock another level a next level of outgrowing of coming out of the box that people put you in because i feel like the person that wants to start this conf confrontation is somebody that knows that you probably run or you probably sweep things under the rug a lot you kind of like um you kind of like project it or you change the subject this person is waiting for you to fall in that trap again and this may be your opportunity to stand up to show that mental strength so words may be a big thing or the tone Someone may confront you about the reality of you not living up to some sort of agreement or you may have to do that with someone. So yeah, somebody's repeatedly talking about a problem. They're not looking for solutions. It's like they just want somebody to help. They just want somebody to do what they say. So you may have to step back from that Libra because I feel like it's pointless. Don't let loyalty to takers keep you small Libra. So I'm going to leave it there. If you want to claim any of these readings on this channel, jump down in the description box below on how you could give back to this channel as well. And I'll see you guys in another channel message. I'm doing a few channel messages today. I do have a few house projects that I'm doing. I'm putting up a new shelf where I could put my candles. So I'm raising my candle light higher in my room so yeah i have some few things to do today but i'm going to check into the energies of love and general reading so yeah thank you so much for coming back like subscribe share hit that notification bell and i'll see you guys in another channel message chat to you guys later ciao